Hey guys, welcome to my new tutorial, and in this one I'm just going to be showing you how to customize an After Effects project file. Now somebody sent me a message asking how to just customize one and not actually make one. So this tutorial is going to be pretty short and very easy. So I'm just using my Speed Intro 1 as an example, so once you download it you'll get this folder. Now as you can see it's got a folder for the font which you can just right click and go install and it will automatically install for you and then down to the project file. I used After Effects CS5 so you'll need at least that. If you can't just double click to open it, just right click and go open with and choose default program and choose After Effects. But I'll just double click and After Effects should open. Okay so once After Effects is open it'll just say it'll be converted and then one file is missing. Now the file that's missing we don't have to worry about because we didn't actually use it. But as you can see the symbol next to it is kind of just this weirdly colored lines and stuff but we can delete that for now now say if the rising sun image was missing which is this effect in the background here if we turn it off you can see um, what we can do is get our folder here because it's in there and then what we can do is just right click on the missing footage in the project tab go replace footage with a file and then just double click that and it'll automatically replace it and realign everything like it was with the same properties so that's pretty good and the final thing we'll need to do is change the text unless you want to edit something else but I won't be showing you that in this so all we need to do is go to the pre-composition here called text now just double click that and then you can get your text tool and type whatever you want so we'll just type subscribe then we click save and I just won't save it for now go back to composition 1 and you can see it's fully updated so that's pretty much it. Then all you need to do is render, and I'll put a link to a rendering tutorial in the description for you. So thanks for watching, hope it helped. Remember to subscribe and check out my other videos, and I'll see you later.